Hi, this is Big Dogs Porton over here, and today we have another example of the popular porter's um, handiwork. Um, we have another customer that recognized the port work um, from the popular porter. By now, you guys should know who the popular porter is. Um, anyway, um, this customer recognized the popular porters work uh, from our videos and pictures and yet again um, wasn't satisfied with the port work he received from the popular porter and um, um, did the right thing and gave us a, a call and set it up so we can get his manifold in to flow it to show him what the popular porter pretty much um, did for him and um, get him the big dog stage two treatment so as you see this work is very very you guys will be very familiar with this work pretty much um just a basic gasket match from this guy's work um you can kind of see you can see a lot of areas that just wasn't hit um, and the upper is basically stock. The upper is stock. And um, as much content that we have out, out there, we still get a lot of customers that message us asking to port the lower only. And it's because that's what they've heard for years from you know guys like the popular porter and other other porters where um, they tell them to go ahead and port the lowers because the uppers they flow pretty well that's not true guys please stop doing that please stop doing it you know your motors deserve a lot better um, when you port the lowers and I don't mean this kind of port work I mean real port work when you port the lowers and you bolt on a stock upper even just a cleaned up upper it's not going to give you the CFM and the flow that you think you're gonna get um, the uppers are highly restrictive as well as the lowers you have to port them together not gasket match not sand roll you have to really port them you know these manifolds are pretty good from the factory and they're even better and the reason why these manifolds perform well once you properly port them is because they have what you call the staggered or offset ports and what that does it brings the ports closer to the exit going into the cylinder head. You'll see a lot of other manifolds, aftermarket manifolds, and even the HO manifold, um, where the ports are right in the middle. And what that does, it it changes the angle of approach. You know, you get less of a steeper angle, and you want a steeper angle. angle. You know, that's good for a straighter shot, especially when you port it. It's good for a straighter shot into the cylinder heads. It increases flow and increases velocity, and that's one of the reasons why, even in factory form, the GT40 you know manifold performs very well. So what we're going to do here. We're going to go ahead and bolt this together. We're going to flow it, and we also have a customer's um, one of our customers, stage two, that's getting ready to be boxed up and shipped out, and we're going to go ahead and do a comparison just to show you guys. Just to show you guys, I know you guys have seen this before. If you are, you know, follow the Facebook page, you guys have, you know, seen numerous amounts of comparisons. But like I said, this video is for the customer. He wanted to see pretty much what he had, and we like to, you know, be transparent. We like to show the customers what you had before versus what you're going to get with our port work. So we're going to pause it, set it all up. I'm going to flow two ports, um, random ports. As you see, they didn't even tap it for 
the air temperature sensor. We, we that's standard for us. We're gonna do that, um, but we're gonna go ahead and flow two ports, and um, then we're gonna go ahead and strap on the big dog stage two, flow the same two ports, and do a comparison. So we're gonna pause it, set it up. Okay, we have this strapped to the flow bench. We're gonna be flowing the number one runner right here. It's this, this is one of the um, outside runners. We're gonna flow the number one runner and the number three runner. These are the outside runners. Um, usually the outside runners flow slightly better than the inside runners because you have um, less of a angle on the, the turn. So we're gonna go ahead and flow the number one and the number three. See what we have. Number one runner is about 222. 222. Hold it together. Popular quarters, lower stock upper. 222. We're going to pause it, come back, and flow the number three. All right, we're back. All set up for the number three on the Pop the Porter's um, work. Let's see what we have here. So the number three, you're looking at about 222, 220, 222. And that's what we typically see. Um, when we get his manifolds into the shop, you know, we've probably poured it now, um, I would say anywhere from 25 to 30 of the Poplar Porter's customers. And that's telling you something. You know, if you have that many people um, sending in their manifolds after they pay you know, these guys to do port work that's telling you something that's telling you a lot you know that's telling you about how they feel about the work that they receive from him and how they feel about our work um, obviously if you're paying twice to get one manifold ported well you have to say, you know, one manifold cleaned up, the other one poured it because, like I said, they don't do the uppers, which is pretty much useless if you don't do the uppers. But if you're plant paying twice to get your manifold worked, um, you must be pretty upset from the initial work in order to go pay again to get it done the right way. But I want to reassure you guys that once we work your manifold, you will be happy. Once you put your your big dog's ported manifold on your vehicle, you will be happy. It's definitely worth getting it ported twice. You know, getting it ported twice, um, or you can just go through our videos and educate yourself so you won't make the mistake of going to the popular porter. You can just send it to us. We'll go ahead, take care of it the first time. That way you don't have to spend money, be upset, you know, like this customer and the customers before him on, you know, getting your manifold um, ported twice. So we're gonna go ahead and give you guys another little treat. And we're gonna go ahead and flow the number one and number three runners of a customer's stage two. It's actually the same manifold, non-EGR. This is a non-EGR. So it's the same exact manifold. And um, the difference, it's going to be dramatic. Just letting you know it's the same manifold, same type of manifold, but it's a different manifold. As you see, this one still has the tab. And 
our stage twos, we take that off now. And this is our stage two. So we're gonna go ahead and strap the stage two up, flow the number one, number three, let you guys see that, then we're gonna close it out. Okay, we have the big dog stage two. As you can see, this one has the ported upper, 76 millimeter on the throttle body opening. The tunnel um, is definitely ported. You can kind of see, let me get the light so you can see. Yeah, you can definitely see it's ported. Opened up to flow 1046 CFM. This is why we recommend either running um, our ported throttle bodies or um, the minimum um, ported 70. We recommend, we really like 75s because that's what it's set for. So um, anytime you reduce the CFM from 1046 on this one, you're gonna reduce the CFM available to the runners. So if you wanna get the maximum benefit from these, you know, our, our, our ported GT40s, you wanna go with the biggest throttle body you can put on there. It's not gonna hurt low wind, it's not gonna hurt throttle response, it's not gonna hurt any of that stuff. Um, it's gonna give you more power. So this is the number one, and we're gonna go ahead and flow it and see what it does. Number one, big dog stage two. 270, 271 CFM. Yep. So we're gonna go ahead, pause it, set up the number three, flow that one, then finish up on this video. So we have the number three set up. Go ahead and flow this one, Let's see what it does. That was about 269, 270. Number three. Number three is this one right here. So it's closest to the ball body tunnel, which has to pretty much make a sharp turn. And that's what you have. So, big difference. Big difference. Um, CFM equals potential horsepower. So this is probably the last video I do on the popular Porter's um, GT40. That one right there, that's Mark's. Well, yeah, Mark, that's yours. <laughs> um, because by now you guys should pretty much know you guys should pretty much know. It's a lot of information that we've put out there. Like I said, we've we've had about 25 to 30 of his customers, you know, come to us uh, to get their manifolds reported. Um, you just saw a, a customer's manifold, our customer's manifold versus, you know, pop reporters. And, um, let you guys see this one it looks a little better than some of the other ones so apparently they took a little bit more time but like i said before the porting is pretty much gasket matching it's not intensive porting um so if that's what you're looking for then um <laughs> you can give him a call but I'm pretty sure you're not going to be satisfied with the performance, especially knowing that Big Dogs is out there. You may run into a Big Dogs customer, and if you do, and he's running one of our manifolds, he's going to tear your ass up, <laughs> and then you're going to be sending your manifold to us. So you might as well do it right the first time. So um, once again, this is Big Dogs porting over here. See you guys at the track.